up next on Betsy's Kindergarten Adventures. Who's that man in the red car? I know what she does when she's not in school. She's a spy! <gasps> Oh, Betsy, tomorrow it's your turn for show and tell. Foot T Rex. Well, okay. Maybe he was only a five inch garden lizard. And we didn't scream and run for our lives either when we found him. Okay, so he probably was just a little more scared of us than we were of him. But still, it was a really big adventure rescuing the cute little guy. Actually, Sydney is not a guy lizard, he's a girl lizard. Or, to be exact, a horn-nosed amphibian. Amphibian means he lives in and out of water. It was art class, and Mrs. O'Connor's assignment was to dig deep into our creative centers to find the masterpiece within us. Okay, maybe not a masterpiece, but something cool that had happened to us in our first week of kindergarten. All right, my little artist, who else wants to show their work? between my teeth. That must have been quite an adventure, Molly. Oh, yes. Flossing always is. Me, Mrs. O'Connor. What about me? It's my stage play. It's called Rainy Day at Recess. I wrote it myself. Hi, Maria. Sure looks stormy today. Yes, Sarah. You think it might rain? Just might, Maria. Excellent, Maria. Anyone else? Billy? I call it squished lunch. It's what happened when my lunchbox came open and everyone stepped all over my peanut butter, tuna, avocado, banana sandwich. That's totally gross. Thank you. Miss O'Connor, what on earth? You know, I must say, Principal Warner, you do look very nice in green. It matches your tie. It does? Oh, well, thank you. I do pride myself in being color coordinated. All right, I guess that ends our class on a colorful note. Now, who wants to hear a riddle? Yeah! <laughs> Mrs. O is such a cool teacher. She made the first week of school so much fun. What is big enough to hold rivers, mountains, cities, and forests, but small enough to fit in your pocket? A map? That's right, Scotty. Maps make it easy to find places, otherwise people would get lost. That would be awful. I don't want to miss a single day of Mrs. O'Connor's class. And for your home assignment, I want you each to draw a map of your house or street so that someone else could follow it and get where they want to go. I can't believe the day is over. I can't wait to come back tomorrow. We're not coming back tomorrow. What do you mean, Molly? It's the weekend, silly. <laughs> There's no school on Saturday and Sunday. No school? I think I'm going to faint. Who 
is that man in the red car? And what does he want with our teacher? I'll check it out. You guys stay here. You're taking me to the opera? Well, something about an opera. He's taking her to Arabia. Arabia? That's a hot place with snakes called cobras. No, it sounded more like opera. Opera? <gasps> That's a play where people sing. Help! He's taking her to Arabia to sing in the opera with the cobras? I thought she lived at school. Did you ever wonder where the sun goes at night? Or what happens to the moon when the sun comes out? Where does the wind go when it stops blowing? And where does your teacher go when she's not in school? Some questions are even more important than what's for dinner. You don't really think Mrs. O would dance with cobras, do you? I don't know. I wouldn't. Or maybe she was spirited away by Cobra Man to wander the desert sands forever. Woohoo! Cobra Man to the rescue! <coughs> We've just lost our favorite teacher, and all you can think about is scaly superheroes! What's new, guys? <laughs> Was it something I said? You didn't do anything, Scotty. It's just that everyone is so worried about Mrs. O'Connor. It's all we can think about. I'm fine now. Well, maybe we should think about something else for a while. I know. Why don't we make a map of the park? Hey, that's a great idea! And I can start by measuring how big the park is. Here, hold this. 10 feet? 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet. Uh oh, I think I just ran out of tape. Whoa! And the soccer field is over that way. And over there is the creek. Uh, I wish we could make a map that would lead us to Mrs. O'Connor. And over there is... Oh, the man in the red car! Why, there's Mrs. O'Connor! Let me see. She's painting her lips. Now she's putting something on her nose. It's a disguise. I know what she does when she's not in school. She's a spy! <gasps> spy? What's a spy? That's someone who dresses up in fancy disguises and sneaks up on other people to find out stuff they're not supposed to know. Oh, you mean like Molly. Hmm. Was it something I said? A spy? Cool! And I bet her lipstick is really a spy camera. I don't believe it. Miss O'Connor would never spy on anyone. Maybe we should just go ask her. Oh, no. Mrs. O'Connor can't tell anyone about her secret identity, or the bad spies might find out who she is and capture her! It's him, the bad spy! Are you sure? Maybe he's just a guy wearing sunglasses and a hat. That's what he wants you to think. <gasps> Look, he's grabbing Mrs. O'Connor. He's taking her away. I don't know. Maybe it's really none of our business. Of course it's our business. We can't let Cobra Man take her to Arabia. Imagination can be a good thing if you don't let it get the better of you. Okay, let's go get him. Double Bubble, what are her shoes and it's still going strong. Here they come! The 
Double O Billy, the kindergarten spies. Target in sight. Ready, Maria? To tree or not to tree? That is the question. Maria, trees don't talk. Well, okay. Want to hear my weeping willow? No, thanks. Just stick to the script. Sarah, you ready? Ready, steady, go. Kenzie, Scotty? Snatch up all set, Billy. I had a bad feeling about this spy business. I thought about calling it off, but once the cat is out of the bag, it's hard to put it back. I wasn't sure what to do. It was a good time to ask for advice. I would have asked Mrs. O, but I didn't want to blow her cover. Okay, Maria, you're on! It's working. Sometimes I get these feelings. Right now, I was feeling like everything was about to go wrong. I was right. Sometimes I hate being right. Targeted by sights, it's goal time! Sarah, wait! Huh? What? What happened to the spy? He got away! It was all Maria's fault. Me? It's your fault for coming up with such an outrageous plan! It wasn't my idea. It was my idea. What was I thinking? We lost Mrs. O'Connor. And now we're lost. <sighs> Children, what are you doing here? We came to rescue you from Cobra Man Master Spy. Yeah, before he could take you to Arabia and make you dance with cobras. Oh, you mean Carl, my husband. Yes, he's taking me to the opera. Husband? Does that mean you're not a spy, Mrs. O'Connor? <laughs> Heavens no. I could have told you that. Betsy? We're really sorry, Mrs. O'Connor. I guess we let our imaginations run away with us. We thought Cobra, I mean Carl, was taking you away from us for good. We just wanted you to ourselves every day of the week. That's so sweet, children. Well, my first weekend turned out to be just as exciting as my first week at school. I learned that sometimes the people you love can't always be with you. Everybody needs to have time to themselves to do the things they really like to do. Even Mrs. O'Connor. I'm just glad spying isn't one of them. You don't think she's really... Hmm. Nah. One of the things I really like about kindergarten is that you never know what to expect each day. Weekends are fun, but I like school better. to an awesome fairy tale game I'd made up. We played it every chance we got. Princess Maria, did you get to ride our beautiful pet pony yet? 
Yes, Princess Molly, I did. We went to the movies. He took up four seats. I crowned all of us princesses so no one would feel left out. It was going great. Until... Oh, come on, Princess Molly. You've had that castle thing up forever. Can't we knock the blocks down already? I felt sorry for the boys. Building stuff and then wrecking it is their whole life. But Molly didn't feel sorry. <laughs> nope. But look what it's doing to Kenji. Children, playtime ended three minutes ago. You must be having a lot of fun. Well, clean up and hurry over to the story circle. We're doing something new today. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it just as much. What's in the bag, Mrs. O'Connor? You'll see. I wasn't always a grown-up, you know. Once upon a time, I was your age. This is me when I was in kindergarten. Wow! Wow! wow. I never knew Mrs. O'Connor was once a kid. I thought she'd always been a teacher and lived at the school. I'm glad you find this so interesting, because this week, I'd like us all to share something about ourselves with the class. Each of you has a marvelous story inside of you that only you can tell. So use your imagination. Bring in something special. Then you'll each take turns talking about it. Mrs. O'Connor, my older sister did this in her class. She did? Do you know what it's called? It's called Show and Tell. Thank you, Maria. You're welcome, Mrs. O'Connor. I didn't care what it was called. I was too busy wondering if I'd be any good at it. What do you think? And yes, I do look splendiferous. Thank you, Polly. Polly Penguin is one of my best friends. No one else can see him, though. Oh, wait, Sandy can, but no one else. Polly, can I please have a piece of fruit? He's talented, too. I had no idea where fruit came from, but Polly made up that it grew on some kind of magic tree. I need your help. We're having show and tell at school. I don't know if I've got anything special enough for it. What's that? You'd bring her if you went to penguin school? That's Polly for you. He's very smart. We all agreed Super Fun Sandy be the hit of show and tell. Until... This is Cindy, and this is her golden play mansion! Oh, that is so beautiful! Thank you, Molly. That certainly is some dollhouse. What are you doing? I want to live here! Such great design! Don't you want to see Molly's dollhouse, Betsy? Maybe. Mrs. O'Connor, what if someone thought they had something special for show and tell? But it turns out it's not as special as someone else's something special. I tell her, it doesn't matter what she brings in. What's really going to be special is what it means to her. 
How did Mrs. O'Connor know I meant me? I was gladder than ever she was my teacher. Mom, you're sitting on Polly. <gasps> I'm sorry, Polly. Are you still trying to come up with something for show and tell? I've been thinking about it all day. But I still can't think of a thing. Maybe you're trying too hard. Sometimes the best things are right in front of your nose. A firefly? That's great! Do you think he'll be okay in there? Sure. You can set him free after you show him to your class. Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> Bath time, young man. I didn't see how I could lose with this little guy. Until... Hit the light, Scott! Flies. Want to know how they light their tail lights? <laughs> they have what's called a chemical that mixes with oxygen, which is like air. Then, kabling! They light up. Remarkable, Billy. I trained them myself. I taped a flashlight to my head, and now they think I'm their king. Billy looked so happy. I couldn't be mad at him. I just didn't know what to do. Oh, Betsy, tomorrow it's your turn for show and tell. Tomorrow, huh? I'll be ready. Mmm, I love that fresh off the farm smell. What's a farm? It's a place where they grow fruits and vegetables, just like these. Fruits and vegetables are plants, just like the trees and flowers at our house. They are? Yes, and they grow. You know, I could show and tell you more about them if you'd like. Yes, please. All plants are alive, like us. They begin their life as seeds. We can't play Make Pretend Princesses without you. This game's no fun the way Molly plays it. I can't right now. I gotta get ready for... Betsy, are you ready for show and tell? Oh, my turn had finally arrived. There was no going back. I brought my best friend, Polly, for show and tell. He's a penguin. I don't see anything. That's because he's invisible. I painted his picture so you could see him. <laughs> <laughs> Settle down, class. When Polly isn't playing with me, he lives on a farm. the fruit we get in our lunch boxes and all the veggies we eat at dinner are plants. Some 
grow on stalks and vines. And some grow on trees. But they all start out the same way, as seeds. I see him! I see Bali! Hey, me too! Later, Mrs. O'Connor said I made Polly come to life for everybody. And my friends told me I gave the best show and tell ever. And you know what? It turns out all my friends had make pretend friends too. Scott. He said his was an accountant, like his dad. All except Molly. There's no such thing as imaginary friends. Is there, Mrs. O'Connor? There is such a thing as imagination, Molly. It's just as important as real life. Why? Without it. Kenji couldn't dream up buildings. Maria couldn't make up a dance. Or Sarah a soccer play. Imagination helps us create all kinds of wonderful things. And I want to thank you for using yours to deliver such a splendiferous show and tell. Splendiferous? Polly's favorite word. I had a feeling Mrs. O'Connor knew more about my penguin than she let on. <laughs>